Yeah, absolutely. So I think um, a way to think about this, again, there are so many different aspects we could look at, but I think the World Economic Forum has the same aims in mind in terms of those concrete outcomes in health. So digital transformation and AI driven transformation of health is not about technology. Technology is simply a means to an end. We have to keep the patient and population health in mind. This is about saving lives and improving health. So that is the North Star. Um, so those, yeah, accessibility, affordability outcomes. Also, you can think about experience, patient and provider experience. All of these kind of multiple aims of health are what we need to be looking at as the um, as the outcome. In terms of how to how to get there. Um, or how AI can be leveraged to address those challenges. One thing that comes to mind for me is uh, some one of the most exciting things about AI and health, I would say, is the democratization of health. So health is fundamentally about two things, which are very scarce resources, which is knowledge and skills. So at the end of the day, it's not necessarily about materials or infrastructure or even technology. Health is at the end of the day about knowledge and skills. Um, the highly specialized know-how you need to diagnose a disease, the extensive training you need to perform a procedure, or say the skill sets and expertise needed to manufacture a complex drug. So it's all about knowledge at the end of the day. It's a knowledge economy, a knowledge uh, business. And so um, what AI does in health is it enables us to connect all of this knowledge from around the world, creating accessible sources of truth and be able to replicate then the skills that come from that knowledge um, in a more, much more accessible way. So it, it is about augmentation. It's about support and enhancement. So there always has to be a person at the center of what the, of the service you're trying to deliver or the solution you're trying to deliver and a human in the loop in terms of providing the care. So this is not about replacing, you know, the very human centric systems we have in health, but it's about augmenting and democratizing them. And I would say in terms of um, opportunities, there's a difference between uh, different geographies, although everywhere is kind of a spectrum and a mixture. I would say, generally speaking, in higher income countries, the major challenge that we're really facing is on sustainability of health systems and the high costs of healthcare. So in, in the case of more developed countries, we truly need to work on you know, rapidly increasing the efficiency of systems and um, controlling costs, making things more financially um, sustainable and also for the workforce more sustainable. In lower income countries or more emerging markets, the challenge, really major challenge there tends to be more lack of access to healthcare. So according to the WHO, 4.5 billion people still lack access to essential health services. And so we need to dramatically expand access to healthcare, especially in the global South. And that's where um, AI would have the greatest potential opportunity. And so as you think about achieving those aims you mentioned, rather than going on a use case basis or tying to each specific outcome, I think we, through the World Economic Forum's research in the past year on uh, AI and health with, uh, with renowned experts from around the world, we've identified four comprehensive visions for the AI-enabled reimagination of health, which are um, looking holistically at the future of health. Um, one is a uh, shift to preventive well-being. So digital transformation, AI transformation will enable a long desired transition from the disease-based uh, sick care model to a wellness-based health care model. And this will come about via uh, preventive and predictive tools and uh, as well as AI and digital supporting the shift to value-based care. So that's one. Uh, another is 8 billion doctors, which is kind of an ambitious vision where you say, you know, with if we think about it with AI, increasingly uh, ubiquitous access to the internet, the advent of large language models, availability of medical information, um, you know, we feel that eventually personalized advice will be, uh, personalized medical advice will be on a, uh, available on a far greater level uh, for everyone. So this democratization will expand access to care and reduce the burden on the health system. Uh, a third uh, vision is around the reinvention of medicine. So this can be both in a healthcare and a life sciences context. In the healthcare delivery context, the this means that the structure and approach for hospitals and clinics will be significantly transformed. So workflows and processes uh, will be far more efficient and health for healthcare practitioners and patients. 
In the life sciences context, the field will be significantly advanced by the impacts of AI in science and R&D, uh, including drug discovery, but also streamlining of clinical development. And then lastly, I think a really exciting opportunity is the global health leapfrog. So just like in other fields, um, there can now be an opportunity for, in particular, the global south and underserved areas to rapidly improve population health um, by developing new approaches based on these uh, emerging technologies, including AI. And this could really accelerate progress towards universal health coverage. So I think, you know, coming back to it, those are really four visions that we see for how, um, you know, all of these outcomes could be very much improved by AI and health.